Well, welcome back to Art with Mr. O. We've got a slightly different setup right now. Um, I'm at more of a desk right now. Uh, I want to talk to you about uh, the basic uh, the basic approach to, to sketching uh, that most, uh, most professional artists, most seasoned artists use, as opposed to most new artists. And, and all it is is it's... Uh, it's using a, a, like a skeleton or a framework, or some people call it a gesture. So uh, I just want to, I kind of want to show you an example of that. And then we'll do a, we'll do a couple of things. And then I'll, uh, I'll give you kind of an assignment to try, which is mostly just a, a lot of practice. But remember, practice makes us better. So that's why we do that. So let's take a look at our paper here. So we got our paper. And um, first of all, this is how a uh, this is how a new artist might might go about drawing a house. They might start, uh, you know, at the end of it, and they might start drawing the end of the house and everything. You notice the speed of my my pencil. Everything is going kind of kind of uh, slowly, but deliberately. They were trying to do everything perfect right from the start. The problem with that is that that takes a long time to do. And what happens if you get something wrong? Like right now, I don't know if you can see this. This is kind of small, but this corner of this house is too small compared to the back corner. So I would have to erase it, and then that would mean that the roof is probably in the wrong spot, and I end up starting over, and I end up getting frustrated. So what I want to uh, have you guys start practicing is doing a framework. So if I was drawing a house, and I just notice how, notice how I'm drawing it nice and, and, and loosely, and I just kind of just really quickly... Um, sketching it in. Now I find out that I want that a little bit farther back, so I put it a little bit farther back. I want to change the angle of this. So I can just start doing this stuff and do it real loosely. There's a line for my for my windows. And what, I, what I'm kind of doing is kind of feeling out where, where I want all this stuff. Where, where do I want this stuff to be located? And if I don't get it right, then I haven't used a lot of time and it's usually pretty light. I'm doing it a little bit darker. Uh, let's put a chimney back here. Uh, let's see, a chimney would go like this and like that. Maybe down below the peak there. Eh, something like that. Put a little pipe there. Anyway, and so uh, side, maybe a sidewalk coming out, maybe a fence in the backyard, back there, who knows, back here, maybe I go a little bit more that way. Anyway, so once you get it, you notice that everything is really, really like sloppy, sketchy, loose, um, and then when I get it the way I want it, then I go back and I just kind of, I can put in these lines, maybe there's a a step here. So, all right, and so then, so I, you know, I, I have these lines all located. Now I can just put in, you know, very deliberate lines because I know the lines are where I want them to be. I know, you know, that I've got them about where I where I want them to be, so I I can just go ahead and, and sketch this in, and notice my lines now are not as sketchy. It is still kind of a cartoon style house, but maybe it's the Simpsons or the Griffins. Um, but I've located everything, and I and I'm it's where I want it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and. Draw it in. And you see how much easier that is, and I and I know it's, I know it's where I want it, and you know. So there's, 
So there's my my house. And now is when I start now I can start putting in details if I want to, like like fence, you know, fencing in the backyard or or shingles shingles on the roof or siding on the or shutters on the windows, you know, I can I can start putting those in now, now that I know I won't have to change anything. So that's called a framework or a gesture or a skeleton um, that we want to put before we start a final drawing. So i got a couple I want you to do along with me. Let's do some animals. So this is kind of a nice... Uh, Kind of a nice way to do some animals, kind of a kind of a cartoonish way. Just draw an oval. Hopefully we can see that. We'll draw a couple ovals here. Here's a little oval down here. And then um, just draw like like a V. And then those are the legs, those are the inside legs, and these are the back legs, but they're not, notice they don't go down quite as far. And then whatever you want this to be, draw an appropriate head. If I want it to be a llama, llamas have long necks and droopy snouts, so I put the neck way, you know, the head way up there, and a puffy tail, and then, you know, kind of draw the, the thickness of the legs in. They, they have kind of longer legs, so I could probably give them longer legs, okay? And see, everything is loose right now. And they, I think they got floppy ears too. So now I go back in and uh, kind of put it in like so. You can make fur. See how I, I do a couple like like furry things, like, like it's covered with thick fur. Like back here, I might do that. And, and so, you know, there's, there's a llama. Okay, there's a. I mean, it kind of looks like camel, but they're cousins anyway. So now this uh, this circle over here, let's draw, let's draw a pig. So the pig don't really have a neck, just kind of goes to an end. Um, let's give him kind of floppy ears, and I've got to have that curly tail, curly tail back there, and then short legs. So this uh, this these front legs go in and then the back legs are out, not quite down to the ground. Maybe he's running. Okay. And there's a pig. Okay. So we make, make that curly tail. And then front leg. I'm going to be a kind of a fat pig, short legs and fat, fat little legs. Like that. Notice they don't even. I don't even have to put a whole lot of detail on the on the legs. I mean, you can kind of tell it's a pig. Oops! And put it down like that. And there's a pig. Oh, there's a belly. And put it. Let's put it shadow down there, like with motion lines, like it's going fast. <laughs> there's a pig. And then, uh, like this one here. See if you can figure out what this one would be. If we put two ears like that, and a pointed snout, and maybe whiskers, and then a long tail like that. Short little legs. What's that gonna be? If you said mouse, you got it. So here's the, the, the uh, I'm not gonna put the, the whiskers in with with this, this is a, kind of a thick marker. Put a smile on it. Eye right there. Maybe it's chasing some cheese. Thinking about cheese. So there's a so there's a mouse. Okay, so now those are animals that we didn't even we didn't even look at a picture. We just kind of remembered, okay, it has a long neck, a short neck. What are his ears kind of looking like? So let's draw a picture. See if I can find it on my, uh, 
on my iPad here. We'll do a, uh, well, there's an elephant. Uh, let's do a, let's do a giraffe. I think I have a giraffe here. Um, so this is what I want you to do. I want you guys to find a picture of, of an animal and just look at it and try to see the framework. Let's see if I can get this where you can see it. Okay, so, so if I look at this giraffe, I've got, you know, a big area here and here. I look for kind of like circles and shapes. So I got a big area kind of here and a big area here, down to a little bit lower, kind of angled back a little bit. And then I got, you know, the head kind of comes up and then, or the neck does anyway. And then there's kind of even another little spot down there, horns up there. Um, and, and so I just, now I just locate, okay, where are the knees? This one's a little tricky. It looks like the front knee, but then it get, then you realize it's switched. And back here, knees look like they're a little, just a touch lower. And they kind of go up to the hip, and then the, the legs come down. This, this leg goes down that way, bends, goes back there. This, this leg, even if it's just one line, and you get it, and it goes down, and then there's like a hoof. And then this one kind of goes back a little bit. Must be something to be a giraffe. A hoof down there. Front hoof is about there on the back leg, about there. So you just, uh, there's actually a tail there. So you just kind of, you locate, you locate all these, all these lines. And now I realize that probably doesn't look like much. I mean, nobody's perfect. Let's see how it comes out. So now we just start putting in some of the lines. So I, I noticed there's kind of, it kind of goes like that and almost like a, there's a thing like that. Goes back here like so. It kind of curves down to the shoulders. Shoulders kind of puff out and go down to the knee. And it kind of goes down over to the hoof. And it kind of comes up. Back up to the knee. Back up to the shoulder. Looks like there's, there's a bit of a belly kind of goes back like that. It might not be quite that fat. We'll see. I gave it a good lunch. The knee comes... Down like that, down like that, another hoof, up to the knee. This one, the hip, it goes back here, and then kind of comes back up to the hoof. Back up, back up to the knee. Back up there, that back leg kind of sticks down, kind of like that. I think I might have them switched, but anyway. Goes up like that, the tail kind of comes down. It's hard to tell with all those dots on there. And then this just kind of goes up, goes up over the hump of the shoulder, and there's another little hump in the neck. Goes up, the ears kind of come out like that. And uh, I guess you call them the horns. Big eye, nostril up there, but and that's and then there's a little bit of a, a bit of a mane, and then you just start. Now it'll take you longer to put all the dots on than I did to draw the whole animal. I don't know if they call them dots. They're probably not call them dots, but you just start putting those in, and they're all certain shapes, and and there you go. I I think this is a little bit thinner here. Be a little bit thinner. I had to probably erase that line there. So, you know, there's a giraffe. And you saw we had an elephant here. We could do the elephant the same way. Um, if we were if we were gonna get an elephant, let's let's just look at it. An elephant. Okay, I'd probably do something like uh, like this one maybe. Well there's a, there's an elephant. And we got that big triangular shape of the ear, big head, 
you know, the trunk comes down and curves like a, kind of like that. And then big rump, big tummy. And then look at the legs are doing kind of what, what we talked about. There's two that are going in and there's two that are going out. So you just get those lines in and then you just put however thick it is. You know, how thick is this leg? Uh, and it gets thinner there. So you just try to see those details after you get the skeleton or the framework in. So what your assignment is, is to look up either online or in books. Most of us have some sort of books with animals in it. And I want you to do, to try to do 10 different animals. So maybe a horse, maybe a cow, you know, make them different. Maybe a snake, maybe a fish, a bird, a chicken, okay? So anything you can find a picture of, try to draw that framework first and then dress it up, then hang all the details on it. Okay, so remember, practice makes better. Some of us have more practice than others. If, if some of us make it look easy, it's just because we've had more practice. It's not a drawing lottery or anything like that. We've just, we've just probably had more practice. So try to find, you know, 10 different animals. You can do more if you want. Absolutely, you can do more if you want. And then uh, you can put more than one on a page if you want. Or you can, you can put them one to a page. It's up to you. I don't know what kind of paper supply you've got. They can be copy paper. It can be notebook paper, graph paper. Heck, I don't care. If all you've got is newspaper, draw them on newspaper. Okay? And then if you can take a picture of them and send them to me over my email, or if you're one of my classroom students, you can drop them off at the school at the drop-off place, however they're going to do that. I'm not positive yet. Um, but if you can, uh, if they're really good and you want to brag about one, that's that's normal. A lot of times we, we, we're not, we don't know what we can do. And we do something amazing and it's kind of cool, you know. So it's okay to tell people about that. Um, you know, email me some and maybe I'll start an online gallery that we can put student examples on. So, um, practice makes you better. Don't get frustrated. Embrace your mistakes and learn from them. And have fun with art. And we'll see you next video.